Welcome to the Rugged Maniac Semi-National Interstate Qualifiers. I'm Ryan. And I'm Amira, and we are your hosts for today's events. We're keeping our eyes on two breakout performers today, Blake and Brad, the killer bees from Boomtown. There's definitely a buzz around them today, but look at this. You'd have to be a super elite athlete or a total fool to be drinking beer before a race. Judging by what they're wearing, I'd say they're both. Last minute stretching and lacing up the shoes is important. Yes, with equal parts dirt and water, we could probably expect some mud on the course today. Woo! Three, two, one, I'll get you a headband later. <laughs> Yes, and they're reminding me of some cheetahs I once saw. Sleeping at the zoo. The first portion of the race is mostly running. Dirt and loose gravel can wear them out for the dangerous obstacles. And frankly, I think that's going to wash, so we'll just go right to the obstacles. The first obstacle is called the quad burners. Running up and down these hills really attacks the legs. And due to the elevation of the peaks of these hills, the air is thinner. And they also have to watch out for low flying planes. Looks like they made it. Next up is Jacob's Ladder. This is a 12 foot wooden obstacle that they need to climb up as well as down again. I think they should have to change the light bulb at the top of the ladder. It would make it a more functional obstacle. Taking out the bottom rungs. You got it, Bradley. Woo! He goes six six. Woo! <laughs> Woo! So they have to jump and pull themselves up. This one is really tough for those without arm strength or jumping abilities, like Morgan Cambridge. They seem to fly through with ease. Now this is interesting. I don't remember seeing bleachers in the program. They may be a little off course. And this obstacle here is called anti-gravity, which is strange because I don't think a trampoline would work very well without gravity. Newton's law says, Yes, it's not a cookie method. It's a big wrong Newton, but close enough. They're past anti-gravity and onto another barricade type obstacle. How many of these are there for of course? Not too many. Oh, really? That's ridiculous. Which brings us to Pull Your Weight, where they have to pull a chain that's heavier than it looks. It really doesn't look very heavy. And it's not much heavier than that. Woo! Oh, sure. But here Brad goes again, cheering for himself. I bet he's the type of guy that celebrates every time he flushes the toilet. These are the lily pads, where they have to leap like frogs from one platform to the next in order to stay dry. Can I do it? Woo! It's easy for this amphibious duo. Well, the head scratcher won't be as easy. Oh my god, ow! And nobody's staying dry here. Yes, they have to stay in a low commando crawl to avoid the barbed wire right above their heads. Whoa! Oh, he got the head! Looks like Blake looked up a little early and almost lost his head! I don't think he was really using it anyway. <laughs> Let's look at that again! But look out, because those were very sharp and very dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. Next is the claustrophobia where... Wait a minute, what is Blake doing now? He seems to be zeroing in on the only clean spot on some guy's shorts. Oh! oh! And that's how to make friends in a fierce competition. So, the claustrophobia. 
Here are two big men crawling on their hands and knees in the dirt and rocks through the tiny crawl space. I'll tell you what, this makes me glad that I'm a small child. This makes me glad that I'm not there right now. Well, they seem to be okay and back to their normal, questionable self. And then onto the sled dog, where they have to pull a weighted sled. That's when they look too heavy. And then run and pull it back to the other side. Well, at least they're proud of themselves. Onto the swinging rings, where grip strength will be canceled out by a slippery grip. Careful! There may be a sniper over one of the hills. They won't be sending any autographs after this obstacle. Speeding their way through the trenches, they're easily leaping over all the, most of the trenches. This seems like one of the easier obstacles, so they're either losing their steam or just getting lazy. And now they have another head scratcher. They can't afford to get lazy here or they'll regret it later. Ah, thanks. Blake seems to be having some trouble with the contestant next to him. I got flipper over here. This one is difficult enough without having someone splashing mud in your eye. I'm crawling like Archie right now. Oh, and there's a shout out to Blake's son, Archie. He's a darling little boy, and it's nice that he's in Blake's thoughts. No time to get soft. That's how rugged maniacs lose their edge. Take it. I can't. I can't make it. <laughs> Here's the gauntlet, where they have to balance on the floating wet walkway while being picked up by giant inflatable. After they make it through, they have to climb a steep, wet, muddy hill. Rumor has it, there are sharp, hidden objects in the hill, so try not to slide your hands down. Ouch! Yeah, looks like Blake found a rusty nail. So while he's getting a tetanus shot, Brad moves on to the full tilt. Yes, this is an uphill monkey bar climb, and then halfway through, it tilts downward. He looks weak, so we're not expecting much from him. before jumping onto an uphill zip line. At the end, they have to hit the bell or else it doesn't count. I'm being told that they're making Blake go again, even after his 11 new stitches in his hand. Rules are rules. Uh-oh, up next are the second set of trenches. This is called the pyromaniac, and you know what that means? Fire! Fire. where they slide down a hole. Yep. And last up is a dreaded work wall. Even more dreaded after a 5K with crazy obstacles. The hardest part is finding the balance between speed, jumping, and timing the camera handoff. Ouch. First time with a flop. But then, with teamwork and tenacity... They finally slid down to the finish line. And that's it! Blake and Brad have exceeded all expectations. Well, one or two expectations. At least they finished. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching! Again, I'm Ryan. And I'm Amira. This was... The Rugged Maniac!